family in support of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We caught up with her at a special event. We're in Toronto and we have some wonderful people who've agreed to come here today. They're just getting ready now. These are survivors and their families who are going to be going upstairs to be videoed to tell their story about their experiences with breast cancer. And what we really want to do this year is focus on not only the people who have been diagnosed with breast cancer and who are going through treatment. So what's so important also is the people that surround the people going through treatment and the support that they give them. Feels good? Yes. I was diagnosed the first week of June. So I've actually just finished my chemotherapy. Um, I went through four months of chemo. Um, so I'm done phase one of three phases. Um, I have a couple months off to heal before I have surgery at the end of the month and I'm um, going to kick cancer in the butt. New star! <laughs> it's been up and down, um, a big roller coaster. I have uh, an amazing support team around me, my friends, my family, my boyfriend. They've been so phenomenal uh, through all this and that's definitely had a huge impact and made it a lot easier to cope with. We've spread the word so much in the 20 years that we've been going, well 22 years, the Breast Cancer Awareness Campaign has been going and now I defy anybody not to have heard of the Pink Ribbon and to understand what it means, the symbol of hope for everybody and the symbol that they know they're not alone and that they're sharing their experiences and you know it's, um, it's something that's just to be so applauded.